the issue is not with the game. It's because his bud, him and his buddy and their faction are trying to be friends with another group and they have conflicting interests. Oh, I see. Well, that's going to give you all sorts of problems if you have discovered already. For that, the best you can do is have your own faction and set them to be allied. You will need to bring your own CVs in that case, though. So no, it doesn't really solve your issue. It's like Ravian said, it's a feature we could use, but it's also hard to get right and for it to not be exploitable. It's pretty incredible the exploits some people find. How they do it, I don't know. Must specifically know how to frustrate game code, I guess. But if there are any fatal flaws, you can be completely sure that someone will find them and exploit them. And hold one moment. Alright, I just did a quick search through this comment and uh, through this thread, this topic. And Rannix's response where he called me weird has been deleted. And when I go over my response to Piddlefoot's private message, that will be the context. So I guess Piddlefoot did remove Rannix's post where he calls me weird. All right, that is significant to note because I, I wasn't aware of that before I made this recording. I just now re discovered that. I just now realized that. And that actually, that actually goes in Piddlefoot's favor even more. That's why the tone of these videos today are not me high energy, oh, fuck Piddlefoot, fuck this jabroni. I'm not on my high horse right now. I'm on the ground. And I'm like, I'm level. I'm sitting down and I'm chill. And I'm like, I'm looking at the situation as unobjectively as I can. Or actually, as ob as objectively as I can. Piddlefoot's response, I, I read that. Rannick's response, also... What the fuck, anti Oh, yeah. Before this message, his first, Rannix's first response was to me saying, I don't know why my post was deleted, but I'm going to repost it. And then Rannix was basically saying, Oh, your post was deleted because you're a weirdo or something to that effect. So that's why he says, Also, because he made two posts, one addressing me and one addressing Piddlefoot. Also, what the fuck, anti grief. These guys aren't going to grief me. I'm the admin. I can just move their ship. And if you wanted to grief someone by flying into their hangar, you wouldn't dock. You'd just sit there because you can't move your ship when there's an undocked ship in it. But yeah, if you don't dock that ship, then they can just destroy your ship to get rid of it. So the exploit is docking your ship and making it invincible. That's the exploit. Have fun getting blown up because you can't move instead of having a troll in your hangar. That's, I mean, he that that's also another point. I mean, if you can fly your ship into someone else's hangar in the middle of combat in space, you essentially disable that capital vessel because it can't move with an undocked ship inside of it. And if you're in a fight, if you're in a capital vessel battle, you basically crippled that ship's engines and it can't go anywhere. It'll just get blown out of this. It'll get blown out of space. Piddlefoot, he says that I deleted the post because it's patronizing for no reason. The real solution to this problem, from what I can tell, three hours ago, as you can see, four hours ago now, the real solution to this problem, from what I can tell, is allowing factions to become allied, and thus extending the docking rights of allied factions. And we just might be able to do that, so we let the devs know with a polite request and see what happens. And my response, which was made just over half an hour ago, I would be happy if Alien were able to implement allied faction mechanics and docking rights. I understand Rannix's free time to play this game is limited, and hope him and his friends are able to enjoy themselves when they are able to all get together for a session. Alrighty. Now I want to do a, a quick, brief summary of... Uh-oh, uh -oh, hold on, someone's at the door. Mm, hold on one sec. Uh, I unpaused it too soon. Mm. Oh, man, that is delicious. Oh, wow. I just had a neighbor bring me some cube steaks she just cooked. I want some more. Mm -mm, she, I didn't have enough of that. That was delicious. Uh, anyway. Um, 
But yeah, just just to summarize Pedalfoot's private message to me, um, the the confusion is that I seem to be harassing Ranix. And I, I, I read over all my posts and I showed you my deleted posts. I mean, and, and, and I don't I, I don't really address my audience and I don't really, hey, tell me what you think. Comment down below, right? Like, well, I'm actually doing that in this video. Comment down below. If, if, if I came across this harassing Rannix, please let me know and point out which parts I was harassing. But, um, and after that, I start questioning how he's playing the game. I'll, I'll describe that down below. Babysitting, a deliberate insult to belittle, accusing him of not listening to my workarounds, implying that he is demanding. Well, he was demanding. I accuse. Now, when I accuse others of getting personal, that was me calling him out for calling me weird. When clearly I got personal first. And then this, this part right here, this is important. When my entire post becomes a critical look at how another user is playing the game. And I, yes, I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. And I, I did take a critical look. And I'll explain why down below. Now, due to the way that the post, uh, the comment thread systems and, and these uh, community, in a community hub forum with the moderators work, you can only post a one. You have a one thousand character limit, and when you post continuously, the posts go upward rather than from top to bottom. So I'm going to have to read backwards. It's kind of weird. Here is my response to Piddlefoot. I wrote this out before recording this video. One morning, afternoon, Piddlefoot. Thanks for getting in contact with me. I was only questioning how he played so I could be as informed as possible to best offer a solution to his issue. I used to work in customer technical support, and part of my job training was to gather as much information as possible from the person making the complaint so that I can best offer a workaround or fix for the problem. Harassment? Me being rude? Insulting? Pedalfoot? Babysitting is not belittling. It's a term. You babysit a boiling pot of water. You babysit children. You babysit a new player in a game. You babysit a sick family member. Babysitting is the act of looking out after and taking care of something or someone. I'm baffled you're twisting my words to assign insults and rudeness when there is none. I didn't insult Ranix at any point. If anything, he's insulted me by calling me weird. I'm on the spectrum. I have Asperger's syndrome. And being called weird for trying to help offer someone a solution to their problem is extremely unsettling and, uh, uh, and upsetting. You can't assign meaning to my words that I don't myself. I'm so confused by this. There are many examples in the forums of people posting about a problem while upset and frustrated and not listening to people's advice or suggestions. So yes, there is a precedent of users not listening. Saying someone isn't listening to advice isn't a forum offense, nor is it unscrupulous behavior. Again, my critical look at how another user plays the game is to assess the problem at the core and provide the best possible solution. It's how I was trained. Because the way Rannix is playing the game is the problem. He wants an anti-grief measure removed just so that he can play the game the way he wants, which would open up griefing from other users if the change were to be made. He wants to be friends with a group that wants to fight the faction his group is friendly with. That is absolutely 100% a user-level issue and has nothing to do with the game or its mechanics. Also, all he has to do is deploy two CVs to a planet instead of docking non-faction ships to his CV. His two solutions... Whistle? His two solutions... I did it again... Faction the other members or spend the fuel to use two CVs. It's